Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I don't have a bingo. I would like to get rid of the V. What's the best way of doing that? Nothing particularly worth hanging on to. But I can play divot for 22. This looks a little more close to being a bingo. Balanced. I've got the out prefix. I'm not seeing a 7. Let me consider the floaters. Nothing with a D. I doesn't look useful. Nor does V. No. Not seeing a bingo here. So I've got the H for score. I'd like to play off the U and one other vowel. So Huey and Huey are both good. Faye takes an O in front and I have one. So what are my options? Faye only takes an S at the end. Do I have... Well, I was looking through for a double-double through the eye. I don't have one of those. I could play Hutia. There's not much worth hanging on to in this rack, and Hutia gets value from F and Y. I am providing a hottish spot for opponent to get the H doubled, but that's not massive. I'm going with this. So I have Gosling and Oglings. Wow, surely one of those will play. Oglings plays in column 10, making phase. And Gosling plays in row K, making Yag. Wow, fantastic. I guess it's possible opponent could block both, but they don't. So, any new spots available? Gosling or Oglings? I don't think so. No, so... Gosling... Wow, this is tricky. Gosling in row K opens up column 15, but gets doubled. Yeah, I think this is a fairly easy decision. Oglings doesn't get doubled, but it does get value from the F as well as the Y. So these aren't far apart in score, and Oglings is not opening a triple word lane. And not a bad pickup for seven random tiles, but I'm not seeing a bingo here. Through an S I would have Baptize as a non-bingo, but sorting the rack out. This may be quite tricky to sort the rack out, because I'd like to get rid of B, P and I, and apart from Baptize, I can't think of a way of doing that. So, I feel that I'd rather keep the P than the B, but I think others may, other people may have a preference for the B. So, not much between those. I have Pieta as a five. So, what do I have in row L? Ut takes A and E. I've got both of those. And there is this floating floating C for a bingo. Not seeing anything with that. What can go under the E? Just the T. Or the, well, vowels A and E. I certainly want to be playing off one of my eyes. Can't see a way of doing that under cheat. <laughs> Opponent changes. Now, what about a play through this H? Can I get my B or P doubled? Not seeing a way of doing that. So, how about column 11? Well, interesting. I have Pyre. And this rack leave of bite is not terrible. 20 points is quite decent. Column 12, not super hot. I am taking out all of the good floaters in Oglings. Pieta does not play in this spot. Yeah, I am going with this.
And this looks tantalizingly close to a bingo. I'm not seeing a seven. But I do have the B for score. And I have a lead. Jib is good. La and lat are good. So I could have a play beginning BR. Now, fantastic bingo by opponent. There goes the first blank. So what can I do in column 12? Just wondering if I can get value from the P as well. So opt is good and ope. But what goes next to GI? Let me put the B in. So any EBR words? No. TB unlikely. So what if the T was in this position? So I could do this. Boet for 31 points. Decent rack leave in the new world order of loving vowels. B is covering the double letter square, so row A not super hot and difficult to bingo through the B. Yeah, and I couldn't really, well, a better Rackley would be tire rather than ire. But I would be sacrificing points to achieve that, and ire goes well with the floating D and C, so I am going with this. And also opponent has seven random tiles, so could well have a heap of junk. Now look at this for a rack. I have taurine, urinate, uranite, and ruinate. Do any of those play? Well, I have urinated in column four, which is great. Do I have anything through the B? So... There are two anagrams here. Brawnite is one and Urbanite and both fail to play with this position of the B. R only takes an E underneath, so I don't think I've got a bingo in row M. Do I have anything through the C of cheat? This rack plus a C. Gosh, it looks like that. Could be one, but I'm not seeing it. Aneuretic, possibly. Now, urinated and ruinated both open up triple-triple lanes. So do I have an alternative bingo placement? Git takes an E after it. So, no, I don't have a play in column th 13. Nothing ending I. Aneuretic doesn't get doubled and provides access to triple word squares, so is not preferable to urinated. Now, I, have, I do have ruinate in row K, making yeah and er, uh, but that also opens up a triple word square, square lane, but it does mean I have an unblockable bingo, which is fantastic. Do I have anything ending LA? I don't think so. Now, great, only 25 for opponent. Any bingo I have in column 14 is, is going to provide access to triple word squares. And Jeet only takes an S, so I don't have a playable one. So... Well, this is the issue. I get more points for, for Ruin 8. But I'll be placing an E above the double letter square, which means opponent can score well in column 15 without a bingo. Whereas, if I play urinated here, I'm covering the double letter square. Q still to come. I've got a choice of placing a, a U or an R in first place. I think the U is less less bingo -y, although obviously more helpful for the queue. But there's a hot queue spot anyway with urinated or ruinated because of chi 
and G. I'm going with this. I draw the Q, fantastic, but without the I, so I don't have the G option in column three. But I do have row K in row A. What if that's blocked? And it probably will be. Well, I could just play Chin in row C, keeping E L O R T, which isn't terrible. What other options do I have? I have cats in row E, but I'm struggling to score more than the low twenties with the Q. But it is good to get rid of it, and it's possible row A will remain available. I have, well, about a 70 point lead, which is about one bingo. Now, a pennant does use my my better Q spot. So I have, I have Chi, only two N's to come. Do I hang on to this N? If I play it, I'm stopping opponent from playing it, I'm increasing my chances of drawing the blank or an S. I think I will play it. I don't think the N helps this rack leave by. Well, it's only got to help it by two points. And if I hung on to it, then I would have the option of making an NO something play next turn. I think this is close. And do I play chin or cat? I think the T is a nicer tile than the N with these other four tiles. I don't have an, an N for sank. I'm just quickly squizzing for alternative Q spots. Again, I don't have an I or an A for kneecap. Yep, I am... And I don't have an A for cat in row F, so my lack of I's and A's has cost me. I'm going with this. And this looks quite nice. Through an S, I would have vertisoil. Through an O, I would have overtoil. But neither of those are available. I've got the over prefix with lit, and over lit is good. Nice score for opponent. Is there anywhere to play over lit? I don't think there is. V is no two letter V plays, so that hampers placement, but over lit is good. So what about the available floaters? I've got the F, nothing there. I've got the A. Gosh, is there a bingo? This rack plus an A. Not seeing it. What about a T? No. What about the C? No. How galling. Do I have any hooks for peer? Well, yes, L. So this rack plus an I. No, well, that's slightly annoying, so close to a bingo. In fact, I have one, it just doesn't play. How to sort the rack out? I could play Vino, keeping L-E-R-T. I don't quite, I don't really like that combination of consonants. What about playing Victor? Turning over tiles, not providing much for opponent. Opponent can't access the triple word square in the middle unless it's a two letter play ending in V. And a high scoring tile can't be placed on this double letter square. But I am providing access to triple word squares. So what about playing Grovel across here? 
providing no such access. And getting more points, this is a better play. Yep, I am going with this. And I draw a lot of vowels. Could I have a five vowel eight? No, I don't have one with the F, it's four two L, which is two U's. What about the C? Close to elucidate, that's a nine. Not seeing one there. How about the L? No, how about the V? No, and then is the T available? Yes, it is. No, so I'm not seeing a bingo here. And I've got only one pointers. So what to do? Well, look at the scoring tiles on the board. I've got you and I for going under the queue. So, gosh, if I had an N, I could play Gu Chin. Do I have any QU plays? I'd certainly like to play the U. So I have Qua. I have Q-U-A-I, but that's setting up a super hot Z spot. I don't want to do that. I, I'm really looking for a five letter play, but I'm not seeing one. Quail fails in the end. So what about a play in row D? Yeah, I have Inula. Does Inula take an E? If, if so, column 8 becomes hot-ish. I don't think it does. I think it's just Inulas. Let me check because I can. Great. So Inula is an option. It is setting up a minor Z spot, a 40 point Z spot. But I think opponent would easily score 30 with a Z, so that's no, no big deal. And turning over five tiles is quite good. Keeping double ET isn't great. Now, a new floater to consider. This rack plus a D. No, not seeing anything. But opponent has opened the board up. Is that because they've got the last blank? Now, let me check the vowels. Nine out of 28. This bag is vowel dry, so... I don't need to worry about keeping a vowel heavy rack leave. Let me just keep the best possible rack leave. And if I played off EU, then A-E-I-L-T sits very nicely with the floating C and D and V. So where can I play UE? Note just one E to come. Nine minutes on my clock. Gosh, I was looking at EQ, but EU not good. Just EU. Well, I thought I would have options. I don't. Well, I do have Ute. But I'm really reluctant to get only three points when I lead by 60 and opponent sitting with a possible... a possible bingo. What I could do is play FEU here. That stops us opponent with scoring a big column one bingo. It is only six points, but this rack leave is attractive with a vowel dry bag and floating C, D and L. I'm going with this. So what do I have? I think I'd draw another I, which is a little unfortunate. 
Do I have anything with a C? I don't think I do. What about the D? No. And the L doesn't look useful. It duplicates a tile on my rack. Now, do I have Vitiable? I think I may. Wow, fantastic. If it's good. What if it isn't? Well, I certainly don't want to be scoring another miserly six points. So, how do I score with the B? And could there be another bingo on the board? So the T is also available. Opponent is going to, to infer that I have a decent five letter set, correctly so. But what can they do with that information? Now, I could play Nib. Keeping the same five letter set, which was pretty good. And scoring 20 points, which is a lot more than six. So that's my plan. I try Vitiable. If it comes off, I play Nib. Any other lanes? Well, I've still got an L for Peel, but I don't, I'm not seeing a three I bingo through that I. A pennant taking a while on this play, which suggests to me that they may well have the blank. But they're going to have at least two vowels, I think. So this bag remains vowel dry. Only eight vowels to come, three of which are O's and two I's. So nine minutes on opponent's clock, eight on mine. Great. Oh no, opponent blocks vitiated and I don't think they intended to. I think they were sorting their rack out. Okay, so... I think I do go with Nib. C and D are both very good floaters for this rack. And Nib is a decent score from this rack. I'm going with this. Oh, N-I not good. Of course it isn't. And I do have to play the I. So that was a rubbish plan. Good grief. Seven minutes on my clock. So. Arb is good. Gosh, I have Tibial on my rack. That's not bad, actually, because... Although I'm providing access to a triple word square. Well, it is bad because I really like my vowels and I'm trying to hang on to them to avoid getting into trouble. But I don't want to get into time trouble. Ari, Ari takes an L. So I could just do this, lib for 17 points, keeping a decent rack leave, obstructing this E. It doesn't feel great, but it does have some merit, and there are still 16 tiles to come, and I'm short on time. Great, I draw scoring tiles, and I've retained the vowels to make use of them. But opponent could be about to bingo. Oh, and, and they do bingo. I was just thinking about doing something about these floaters. So I lead by just six points. And opponent did only have two vowels, and they were the two rubbish ones. So five vowels out of 13, they're not in, they're not going to be swamped with consonants necessarily. So what am I going to do? Can I get my X doubled twice? I can, I can just do this XI for 38 points. I don't think row O is super hot for either of us. 
I'm not seeing a way of getting my X triple there. Tis is good. So am I setting, I'm setting up res for a monster score. Ouch, can I avoid that? Where else can my X play? Gosh. I could play Axe here. 33 points. Killing row O, not providing a Z spot, but burning two vowels. I'm reluctant to do that. Opponent's got a Z spot with this Z E here. I do have some long X plays on my rack. I have add mix and add mixed. Nowhere for them. Wow, I am coming back to this. I am going to just run the risk of opponent having res and outscoring with this rack. So 38 for Z. And, well, the tiles for res are still there. Oh, wow, an opponent has ex precisely that rack and now leads by 34. Now, through an E, I would have ED Martyr. That doesn't play. Nothing with the D. One tile to come. Gosh, I think this is time, time pressure. And just lack of seeing a better word. Do I have anything through the L? No. So, what to do? What do I have in row O? I have O dear for 27. That's going to take me to 384. I'll trail by 7. And I'll have 4 tiles on my rack. And I may be able to go out with these and score. So I think this is the best I can do. I'm going with this. Oh, wow, the J means I'm not going out in one. So I'm not in good shape, which is irksome. Opponent's got pin work on their rack. But if opponent doesn't go out in two, I may be able to play twice. So where can I get value from the J? No obvious spot. Lib only takes an S. I have jam on my rack. Gosh, I'm not seeing any J spots at all. I have jab for a very lowly score. I have jeet. But I don't think I'm going to overtake opponent with either of those. No I for Jin and Chi. So is the opponent going to provide anything unlikely? Why should they?
Now, is there anywhere for J, A, Jar and Aid? Seven minutes on opponent's clock, two on mine. No, very... Ah, oh, Raj and Anne. Wow. That could be the one. That could be the one. Raj provides nothing for opponent. Opponents played. Oink, 36. Interesting. Are there... Is opponent going to go out with IPRW? Yes, Wiper. Opponent leads by 43. So, can I block Wiper and retain J.A. for Raj next turn? It's probably not going to score enough, but I can do this. I can play Met here. That blocks Wiper. Is opponent going out with what's left? I don't... Well, they could play Rip, which would block Raj, but they would need to spot that. And I have Jack. I think this is now a case of minimising the losing spread. Is there any way I can block Wiper in a different way which sets up a J play? I don't think so. Tem isn't good. And I do need to retain AJ for Raj. I am going with this. Opponent's got six minutes to spot Raj and block it. They can play Rip. But I do have, I do have Jack. But Rez definitely the key play in this, in this game. I didn't need to provide that opportunity. I did see it and I went ahead anyway. Be interesting to, interesting to see what alternatives were available. I don't think opponent's got to play down from the K. So what are they going to do if they don't play rip? They may be keen to play their W. Now, Waxer for 15. So I do have Raj, it's not going to be enough. One minute on my clock, no new J spot. So I'm going with this. And the final score, 425 for me, 442 for opponent, a winning margin of 17 points. So well done to opponent. Let's see what I missed. Wow, I think that was a game thrown away. But let's see. So it was me to go first, and I played Divot, and I like that. Opponent's Rack, and they play Fay. And my Rack, no bingo here. I play Hutia for 24, and I like that. Opponent plays Cheat, and now I get the first bingo down with Oglings. Gosling available for just four more points. But opening up column 15, so I like my play. Opponent changes. <gasps> oh my word, pitiable playable E4. Through the L as a double-double for 98 points. What a miss. Unbelievable. I saw the double ending and dismissed bingo prospects because of double i but pitiable was there wow big big miss and now a pennant doesn't miss their bingo see me for 79 and just one point between us i played Boet for 31 a 12 biter playable same spot for a few more points and obiter D12. Okay, yeah, Obiter, I think certainly better than Bowett. Same score. 
Actually, inferior Ratcliffe, so I am, I am happy with Boet. A pen and plays one, and I get urinated down. But K9, this was the possibility I considered, ruin eight, but that opened column 15 with a vowel above this double letter square. But what do we have here? Neutropenia C5 through open. Wow, that would have been so fancy. Well done if you saw that. An 11 letter play. And aneuretic is one I saw. So I'm happy with my bingo. Opponent's rack. <gasps> Missed bingo. Wow, they play Fugu. Could have played Dirgeful through the R and Uglified through the I of Ruinated. Gosh. So they play Fugu. I still lead by about 50. I've got the Q. Trank, I didn't consider that. Yeah, that would have been quite nice, but not massively better than Chin. And I think if I'd seen it, I would have still played Chin because this is a balanced five letter set. Opponent's Rack plays blue. And gosh, over blue for 48 points. That would have been nice. What do I do? I play Grovel for 33 and Glover, it's anagram also available, but over blue better because of the points. Now opponent's rat plays iced. So they play, I play iced from this, keeping, keeping AI double S. Yeah, pretty good. So my rat, no bingo. And I play Lieu, I play Fieu for six, but H2, loose site available. I don't like that, it's wreck, rack wrecking and opening up a triple word square. Yeah, all of these plays are rack wrecking. Yeah, and I did like the keep of e A E I L T, so I'm just about happy with my play. Opponent plays Ari, blocking Vishable. No bingo for me. Cablet keeping two eyes. Not great. So I play Lib with an eye on a decent rack leave and the Val Dry Pool. Yeah, and I like that. Now, great rack for opponent. Plays endorses for 66. Could have got 10 more points. D14 with. Sondalies through this E and making Arils. Now, I still lead by two. There are six tiles in the bag. E5. Oh, yeah, I think, well, no. Yes, Maxi would have been the play because TAZ, not good. Ouch. Dixie in the same spot would have allowed an O, Z play. But, wow, this looks so painful. I play XI for 38. Maxi definitely would have been a better play. And look at this Rackley, really nice. Okay, so I am the author of my own misfortune here. I play XI. My opponent cannot believe their, their luck. And they get res down for 74. And I think they're just too far ahead for me to catch one tile in the bag. M7, Acme, that's nice, for 29. Yeah, I play Odea for 27, keeping one fewer vowel. The remaining tile is a J, so... I don't think either of these plays is going to give me the win. Opponent with pin work on their rack, nowhere for it, plays Oink for a really good 36 points. Now I'm 50 behind. Thought about Raj and... I'm, I've noticed opponent can go out with wiper. So that motivates my blocking play. Opponent does not have an out. They play waxer. And my best out is Raj B4 for 28. But it's not enough. So there you go. And wow, painful, painful. Lost by only 17 points. Caused entirely by... The XI play, which set up a 70-point play for opponent. It 
didn't need to be that way. I could have scored more for Maxi not setting up the Z. Opponent could still have scored well with the Z, but I think I would have been much better able to to hang on as it was. I I was able to to score well after XI, but it was just too big a hill to climb and not enough time, so I lost by 17. But that's the way Scrabble goes. Mis single mistakes on single moves can undo can undo an otherwise well played game and you just need to learn from your lessons learn from your mistakes rather and accept that once the mistake has been made it can't be undone so there's no no point in moping about it you can just look forward to the next game anyway many congratulations to opponent on their victory i hope you enjoyed watching that game like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time